I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make WWE, NXT, and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Mm. This show was fine. I expected more from the follow-up, to be honest with you. It was actually kind of disappointing in a lot of ways. But let's get into it now, right? Wow, speaking of two people who were not in any sort of follow-up or anything, and even really that good, we have JC Jane and Lyra Valkyria. Valkyria has impressed me with her recent matches. I will say that JC Jane has done almost the opposite. Where they're sitting there trying to promote her as like the next big deal, but her and Gigi Dolan have just fallen flat. I mean, wet fart in church and you're trying to ignore the fudge pop that just popped out of your ass sort of disappointment. Well, your parents knew what happened, but you can't really say it. God, it's just like it fell flat, it was dumb, the splash was stupid because Valkyria, of course, had to win. JC Jane's momentum in any sort of anything is basically dead at this point. Like, seriously. It's, it's dead, it's done. I can't see how they're going to redeem her. Like, Legitimately. I'm not going to hold my breath over that because it is WWE, but goddamn. Fine match. I'm going to be nice. Orange Cassidy thumbs down. So we had a Dominic Mysteria and Rhea Ripley segment. Dragon Lee came out. And apparently it will be Dragon Lee and Dominic Mysterio for next week. You heard nothing different if you've heard it over the last month and a half. I'm going to give it a full thumbs down because we've just heard it so many times. Same thing, same shtick, it's still going to be popular, but it's still, to me, because I am unbiased and I speak the truth, thumbs down. Up next was Eddie Thorpe and Dijak. Thank God Dijak won. Oh, thank God he won. He needed this win so bad. And Eddie Thorpe has just been... Mm. Where was Dijak? Where was Dijak over this time? You couldn't give this guy who's put on banger after banger any sort of rivalry. Why wasn't he going for the NXT champion? Nothing against Ilya, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know, literally Ilya beat Dijak in his last pay-per-view. But Jesus Christ, have Dijak face Gable Steveson instead of Baron Corbin. Ugh, whatever. It was a discus boot for Dijak to win thing. God, he won. I'll give it an orange Cassidy thumbs up, and that's being really nice. Up next was Valentina Faraz and Ulyssa Leon taking on Electro Lopez and Lola Vice. Who's Lola Vice? I don't know. Apparently, she's kind of popular within Level Up, and they're like, oh, let's put her here. <sighs> sure. That's the best I can say right now. Sure. It was a super kick for the team of Electro Lopez and Lola Vice for the win. Did you miss anything? No. Am I going to be really nice here? Yeah, because I liked more than I hated. Orange Cassidy thumbs up. So apparently Wesley is going to be Carmelo Hayes' next opponent. I can dig it. So we have Carmelo Hayes and Wesley taking on Noam Dar and Oro Mensa. I'll be honest, I think either Noam Dar or Dijak would be a better opponent. Didn't, didn't Wesley lose? No, seriously, was he lost. He's a loser for the North American champion. Why does he get an automatic world champion contendership. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I feel like I shouldn't even have to say that. I think, at least with Noam Dar, there's momentum with getting this fake Heritage Cup title. And then, obviously, Dijak, who should have had it in the first place, he should have gotten that before. Now, trust me, I like the dynamic between Hayes and Wes. And I'm hoping that this title match happens sooner rather than later, but there's just so many better contenders. Don't put the NXT champion on the line in a regular ass show. It doesn't work. It was a shining wizard for Metaphor to win, which I actually did kind of like. There was a little bit of tension there. 
you know what? I'm going to let this play out overall. I wasn't a big fan at first, but I'm going to see where it goes. Who knows? Maybe they'll impress me. I'm going to give it an orange Cassidy thumbs up, and that's being really nice. Up next was Baron Corbin taking on Andre Chase. The match itself was fine. I like it more and more with the entrance and the theme song for Baron Corbin. He seems to be really comfortable in this environment. And also, I think he's putting on better matches overall. So, I like it more than I hated. It was the end of days for Corbin to win. It was still a match, though. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Up next was this schism segment. And I feel like I kind of liked it, but at the same time, it felt very rushed. It felt very forced. Because they tried to do something that could have been done in three or four segments into one segment that was less than 10 minutes. And that's unfortunate because all four of the individuals within this cut some fairly decent promos. I like the flow of it, but also the Creed brothers showing some comedy with them. I liked it. It was a different dynamic. It was fun and interesting. I liked a lot of this, but it just felt so unnecessarily rushed. Of everything that happened tonight, it was my favorite thing, so I'm going to give it a full thumbs up. And even then, that full thumbs up was fairly nice. And in our main event, we have Gallus taking on the D'Angelo family and Santos Escobar. And I really like this because Santos Escobar and the D'Angelo family have their feud, but also the resolution of, hey, I'll help you out because you beat me, played really nice into this. I really like that. It was a fun, interesting, compelling dynamic I didn't even think about, but they pulled that off beautifully. And it was a fun main event overall. It was a bada-bing, bada-boom for the baby face of the win. Fun main event to go off on. I'm going to give this an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. But after all said and done, let me know what you thought about NXT in the comments either down below or right next to me over here. Subscribe to the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash mpwma. If you like the hat that I'm wearing, you can get your own with the link down below in the description or on the screen with you. And as always, be majestic.